This is a little longer video. But Terry Crews is a bro. He's been yeah, he's been like one of my idols. A PR the squad, Patrick, he's been one of my idols. I, I, was, I, I feel like I don't, he's ever since like every, uh, everybody hates Chris and like Friday, bro. I'm like, bro, this dude is huge, bro. What the heck? You know what I'm saying? He's like kind of like the Rock. You know what I'm saying? When you, whenever you see the Rock, you're just like, whoa, this dude's big, bro. It's a big dude. Pause. You know what I'm saying, bro? And I'm like maybe one day I could get that big. You know, maybe one day. It's about being the best version of yourself. Oh, Larry yeah. Wheels. Come on, somebody out there said I'm working harder than you. That's a good one. You versus you. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here at One Gym Gym in Claremont with the one and only Terry Crews. Oh, no. The one and only Larry <laughs> Wheels in the house, boy. In the house. <laughs> yes, sir. So Bro, I feel like uh, Terry Crews is a good guy. First time, not too long ago, over in Miami, Florida, yeah. we had a workout. You know, like couple you know, some really, actually, some some people decided like, that you know when we're back in the like, house, that guy's a dick. collab. Yo, I'm stop. glad you came all the way out here. My cats and uh, we're going to do bench press today. Right. Okay. So when we were uh, training in Florida, you were saying you have some shoulder pain when you bench press. Yes. Causing some discomfort. So I'm hoping. That was my decade of piloting experience. I'm able to adjust your technique Come and here. allow you to bench press. There you go. You know, just like I told you earlier, I've been working out for years, but I picked up a lot Same. of bad habits along the way. And I need to always correct it. My big thing is always, always. That's be my biggest to learn fear, too. Like, and, and, and adjust. That's what's be doing workouts wrong, bro. So you can keep going. And I'm going to hurt some Thank you, bro. Always a student. Yeah, so man, far, I'm so the same way. You know, I'm always learning. Yeah. All right. You know? I hear you. But today I'm the teacher, right? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, before we get into it, you mentioned that you do four miles of running every day. Four every day. miles? For the last 30 years? Years. Yeah. Wow. I would say probably 25 years. And I kicked it up. Because it's the thing. I started out with three miles probably the first 10 years, then went up to four. But it's at a really nice pace, you know what I mean? It's like a zone two car. Um, okay. You keep it really relaxed. I'll be able to talk and the whole like thing, like a 10 minute out. mile. But like it's really one of the things that really keeps me, uh, it's, it's more for my head in a lot of ways. I get okay. great ideas and, and the whole thing, but it's been keeping me in shape for a long, long time, man. The cardio keeps my heart healthy. Helps flush out my system. Well, my, I, guess I just that, feel better, like the skin and it's like everything. That it just makes me feel I'm really, really like ten miles. You know, and like, the where I need to be, so I can do a whole day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Understood. Well, mm -hmm. you inspired me to start running I'll with be my wife. Tired. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Daily. You know what? Terry's fifty-six. He's been running for decades. I can run too. You know? Oh, it's good. But as long as you keep <laughs> the, the right pace. Right. You know, when, baby steps. When you push it too hard, it's, that's when all the other stuff, the injuries happen, and all the thing. But relaxing and make it fun, you know? Without a doubt. We do intervals now and doing like 30 minutes. I'm up to seven minutes continuous running. That's great. From where I started, it's like two minutes. So it's cool how quickly the cardio builds up. It does. It's it pretty, happens fast. It definitely is good it. for your heart, though. With that said, we got a couple of benches behind. Running in general is just good for you. All right. Oh. Cool. So I'll let you go first. Well, actually. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you're warmed up and everything, yes. you don't have any stretching. He's a yes. big dude. OK. Oh. Warm it up. <sighs> All right. Okay. Come on. It's a it's a 45 pound bar. Maybe 25 pound. Looks like a 25 pound bar. You ain't gotta be grunting. You know what I'm saying? Nice. But some people decide to get in the zone. You know what I'm saying? All right. Cool. Perfect. How would that look it? Okay, so I would say to avoid any inflammation in the rotator in the shoulders, try and bring your fingers in just one finger. Mm. So if you're, I see your, I think it's your middle finger that's on the ring yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, right, it was right here, yep. Ring finger, so I'll try going pinky finger on the ring. Okay. Right, and then I'll do a couple reps as I talk. Okay. Uh, pinky finger on the ring. Get a slightly bigger arch if you can. Mm -hmm. That'll protect your shoulders and your pecs. And then squeeze your scapula together. You, I'm you do that for sure. But I just try going in just now. This thing's already done. Now, and then twisting the elbows in. Ah. Right. When you twist the elbows in, it protects your shoulders and your pecs. If you're out here. Yeah, that's how I am. I'm always out there. If you're out here, this is pec tear territory, shoulder tear territory. 
right? A ton of stress on the rotator and the pecs uh -huh. when your elbows are flared like this, uh -huh. right? I can even feel my pec tendon in the stretch. Why is he moaning? <laughs> where I my elbow. So, by putting the elbow nah. up, yeah. you he will said, never oh. get your pec. Oh, man. You'll never have wow. a injury. Relax it, though. Relax. We the wow, gym. You see how I was flaring bro, out close, like close that. Close your you eyes and we, we watched that, so bro. So it's the elbows in this way. Exactly. Okay, let me, let's set up real quick. 100%. Here we go. It may feel a little awkward if you've never done it. I know. But And should you feel it at the top of your back? Is that how, when you, uh, you know you got an accurate arch? Uh, so I like to try and close use the bar to pull myself and watch this up video, and bro. set my scapula, <laughs> right? And then I just hold it. Your arch, the whole huh? Set. Okay. I hold that tension. I thought we were trying to build a bigger bench yeah. press, bro. What are we doing? Yeah, I, I can see the difference how I'm in tight. Perfect. And then you get it up. Elbows tucked. And now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Game time. I've always done it like this. <laughs> I think yeah, this just feels like that. so different. Oh, that's textbook right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I... Perfect. That's textbook. That is strange. Hmm. In a good way? Great. Oh, in a good way. No, no, no. I feel stronger. Oh, 100%. I don't feel it in you... my shoulder like I used to. Interest oh, I love to hear that. I love to hear that. I made my Look day. Hell yeah. S minor adjustment, oh. major difference. Oh, that is. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. I can't wait to see how that feels with a little, with a little weight on it. No doubt. So let's throw a couple 45s on. Thank you, sir. A couple 45s. All right. Is that warm up? Yes, sir. Okay, I thought they were going to do 225 off off. Okay. And. <clears throat> I thought they were going to add a little bit more weight to that. Whenever I, in the last year or so, do my heavy compound movements with free weights, yeah. even with the machines. I like to pause every rep at the bottom, right? Uh, because injuries tend to happen when you overstretch the muscle, right? Yeah. And when you do touch and go reps, the risk of that happening is higher yeah. than when you come to a stop okay. and then put from a dead stop. Okay. So Ooh. to avoid injury, and I'm after longevity now, all of my heavy sets, I'm pausing every rep. Okay. Right, because whenever I've had an injury, like it's always video. been like touch and go reps, Yeah. yeah right? Exactly. Uh, especially with deadlifts and squats. So all my reps like to do pause here just for a split second, just to come to a complete stop and I explosively press. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm not in the middle right. and, it's, and my OCD right. is kicking in, <clears throat> which I don't even have, but every once in a while, it's just like, boom. Okay. But you're bringing it to the right spot. Yeah. Lots tend to bring it above I'm the nipple the line. Okay. Right? Which makes it very hard to stay tucked and keep the pressure out of your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So you're doing it perfect with your bar path. It, well, it's like the, the adjustment of my elbows immediately that rep. put me right down where I should be. Right. Because all the way up here, I was always trying to get, you know, above, it would be above the nipple line. You know what I mean? No doubt. Okay. All right. We're good, we're good. Right, yeah. So doing it wrong for 20 something years. Yes, sir. You look amazing. No <clears throat> yep, perfect, yep. <clears throat> yes. I wonder, perfect. I wonder what my yep. perfect. looks like. There it is. Yes. Perfect. Good. Nice set of 10. Good. Cool in here, get warmed up. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. Wow. Hell yeah. That is okay. It's time to get warmed up. That is so amazing. It, 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 again, it feels different, but in a great way. You know what I mean? I love to hear that. And um, wow, man, I'm glad we got the video of this because I'm gonna be watching it back. <laughs> I'm sure my form is always <laughs> correct from here on out. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Well, I'm not too far. If you ever want to uh, pick my brain on the other list, like squats and deadlifts, but uh, <clears throat> you say you've been squatting and deadlifting since you were in the NFL. Yeah, right? man. I mean, so, it's been a long time. 
Like I said, you learn all the wrong habits through that. I was rounding my back and uh, just, you know, and then a lot of this stuff and the injuries came from comparing myself to other people and competing even in the gym when it's not a competition. So you see what people have oh, and you're all of a sudden like, okay, well then I gotta, and it was always pushing it too hard or different body styles. Bro, like, I think I'm he's on he think, bro. Long torsos and little legs. And it, but he's I'm bigger than legs. he's obviously he's on roads. Right, start way up here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Joking. And it's funny, when I put my belt line, it's Joking. like this. <laughs> and it's a different, you know, you have to learn foot placement and the whole thing. And, um, but that's where the injuries would happen. You know what I mean? I pulled hamstring, I blew my bicep out. I had a bicep rupture, mm. had it repaired, did have a bone spur in this shoulder. And so I see how this is going to correct that shoulder movement, man. This is great. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. I love to hear that. When I'm maxing out, the problem is over the pandemic, I had to do everything alone. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? And so I haven't done that in years because it was literally, I was training by myself and the whole thing. And then it, and I'm kind of worked my way more into incline for looks just to, to make it look better. Uh, Cause I hate when you, you get bottom heavy, right. and, you know, that whole thing, keep my shoulders right. But so you're saying four or five to three is your all time best. That's all time. And then what about in like the last, five. Time, last six months? Yeah, I would put it at, Oh, probably 315 for 85. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. that's the most I would do by myself. I understand. You okay. know, without a trainer, because we start getting four and, and without a, a spot, it gets a little dangerous. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Because you usually train in your home gym. Is right, that right. right. Yeah. And I got, a, I got a really nice home gym, but it, the big, big thing was when the oh, pandemic no, hit, nice. I had to build it as the pandemic was going mm -hmm. on. And uh, again, just I being alone, gym. it was just, uh, it, it's been kind of wild. And another thing too, is that I had some trainers that weren't cool. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they're always, you know, it's a child, it's like they're trying to prove to me that they can do more than I can. Really? And I didn't like, huh. I didn't like feeling that kind of pressure, man. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things I love talking to you and the way you do your thing is because it's instructive and the whole thing. Look, you're already the strongest guy in the room. We ain't got to prove anything. The key for me He's is like, just I always know. doing your best. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you. That's all. Right. You, and wait, perfection, you, but this is the thing. Yeah. They aim for perfection and right. perfection is impossible. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't do it perfect. You, right. All you can do is the best you can do every day and get better a little bit. And so I had to let people go. People messaging like, you a lot. And it's all wild because they're like, oh, I'm working well with Terry Crews. And then it's like, Yo, calm down, man. You know, <laughs> right. relax. And uh, it's wild. I've watched people try to work out with me, and then they get hurt. Because uh, they try, yeah. you know, and it's a show. And I'm like, it's not a show, man. This is not a movie. This right. is real life. You know what I mean? In the movies, you get shot, you walk away. In real life, you get shot, you're dead. <laughs> this is oh, real God. life right now. Right, absolutely. Get up that better myself. You see what I mean? You know, I have this thing about like the curse of Larry Wheels because I've had so many guests come through my channel over the years, especially during the pandemic in Dubai, wow. that you know, the camera's rolling and these are people that are undiscovered, diamonds in the rough, right? Yeah. And they have something to prove. And I'm like, so what have you done before this? Like, oh, well, last time I benched heavy was over a year ago and I have, shoulder injury at that time, so I haven't bench ever since, so I'm going to try to hit a winner max now. Oh. I'm like, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. Like, you have a yes. shoulder injury, it hasn't healed, you have yes. limited range of motion, right? And <clears throat> you haven't benched in a whole year. Zero bench press. And then this is actually my most viral chest bench video ever because... I know, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the guy I'm talking about. Yeah. And that was a poor judgment on his part, but I tried to talk him out of it. And then I'm the one that's like the curse of Larry Wheels. I'm like, but... He, you know, so the camera's rolling, like, well, my chance to prove myself. Oh, no. I'm like, not, not in this way. Oh, no. You know, and uh, yeah, I see that video. Like, made a full recovery. Dude, like, you can see oh, the damage. Did, it, did he blow Ripped. it? He did right blow there. it. Yep. He blew the pack. Never made a full recovery. That was the most and, insane video I've ever watched, bro. It was tough I to see, thought, you know. You don't want to it was very like graphic. But after that, I mean, I still was I've a had gym, many, but. you know, that when the camera's rolling, they have. And I've been guilty of myself. I nervous. Right, when the camera's on, and I know, uh, I'm supposed to do X, Y, and Z in my program, but I feel the pressure, yeah. right, to entertain. Yeah. Yep. And those are the times I get hurt. Like Listen, when... dude, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And 
I really want to be, you know, and I love, I, I love that you're talking about this right now. You know what I mean? I, in fact, I love the fact that you've been willing to be very, very just, you know, sharing your personal story, even privately about all the other stuff. You know what I mean? So my thing is, is that's how I want to be. I, I don't, it's, it does no one any good to pretend. Right. You know what I mean? And to give people a picture that's not real. Um, my job is to share, I'm just like everybody else. We human, you know, we, we, we hurt, right. you know? And you may say it looks great, it looks whatever, but that looks doesn't really mean health. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's yeah. another thing. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks, it's not health. I've known people who look great and are not healthy, you know, even mentally and physically. So my job, and I always feel like it's my job, is to stay healthy both ways, mentally, physically, spiritually. It's the way, it's, it's the best way to be, man, because it's not real longevity. Right, absolutely. Uh, I don't mean to preach, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. There we go. That is amazing. Let me tell you, I, that pause rep still... makes a, a really great difference because I feel so more, more secure. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you said, that kind of jerk, you gotta lose your form and the whole thing. That's right. I love the security that you feel with this. Let's see. Definitely get more control when you pause your ass. Yeah. It didn't look like, I, mean, I can give you a handoff. I see the pause, oh, but it's great. still. Let's do this. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that was Todd. <clears throat> Perfect. Textbook, Terry. Textbook. Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm telling you, bro, close your eyes, bro. Beautiful. Yes. You're gonna be like, I thought I thought I was a video. Love that. I love Listen, that. Listen. That feel, we can go up a little bit. I, oh, beautiful. I mean, I actually oh. felt so comfortable. Wow. I don't mind going up. Let's beautiful. do some 225. Easily. Let's do it. That's, awesome. my, favorite, that's my favorite number. Oh. 225. Yeah, there we go. I got I, now those are your brand? Are these your brand? Yeah, this is my mm. brand, personal record. Started in 2018. And I mean, every bench day, I always got my wrist wraps and elbow wraps on when I go heavy. All right. Yes, sir. Listen, I, I'm, I'm going to leave with some of these. Oh, absolutely. In fact, can we, I, I don't mind putting yours on. Oh, okay. You I wasn't sure if you're with these no, guys. No, hey, man, I don't care. <laughs> I want to wear your brand. I, I'm wearing a Larry Wheeler brand. Oh, uh, hell forever. yeah. Thank you, brother. Forever. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Thank I you, I got man. your back, bro. Yeah. No, uh, we love. don't need this. That's love. I, that's Jeez. Like Send me said, you, if you got something for me, I would love to wear it. Oh, of course, yeah. I got, man, I got a brand new pair for you. I would love to wear it with your logo, the whole thing. Yeah. Do me the, do me, do me the honor, man. Thank you. So, you have a color preference. You got blue, tan. These are brand new, by the way. All right. You have any black ones? Oh, of just, course. Yep. Just anything you know what? that will just match with them. Oh, or gray or anything? You black on black? Yeah, black on black would be awesome. Perfect. All right. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's me. Oh, that looks yeah. great, too, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice and thick, too. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Did you need clamps or anything or lift up? Uh, not yet. Okay. Still warming up. You <clears throat> got it. It's, it's warming, man. I know 25 on there, be pre though. <laughs> See, he pauses. That's but not great. Not for as long as like I see it. I see it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I see the ball. Like, Two years ago, I would do that. Uh, uh, I, 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 I see some it videos be, of cats doing this one arm. Yeah, Jim Reaper, the Baker. Ooh, He's unbelievable. Ooh. That dude's on the like flat bench press. Unbelievable. I've never been more scared spotting life. anybody in my life. Oh. All right. <clears throat> All right, right hands. Watch my form here. Okay. There we go. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Elbow. Perfect. Textbook. Textbook. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, Larry Wheels like that, like that coach. Woo! Textbook. Like a Larry Wheels coach. says perfect is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> or like a linebacker coach. Yes, sir. Like All right. Woo! That's great, brother. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hell yeah. Thank you. Uh, wow, man. Perfect. This is going to change my life. Perfect. I hope so, man. This is the best hope day. Hope it changes your packs for the better. Yeah, I mean, I could feel, man, my shoulder. This, you understand? Every time I was, I was like, oh, 
You feel like your shoulder's about to fall off, and I'm like, I gotta keep going. But I don't feel any <laughs> Maybe of that. Stop. that new adjustment. You know what I'm yeah. saying, bro? Elbows poking. It's all it is, man. All it is. I mean, Maybe stop. I've been benching said, over man, 600 pounds for the last <laughs> but 12, 13 but years. I keep going. Every year, at least once a season, I'll go over 500, and I've never had any shoulder injuries or oh, pec injuries. Unreal. Even when I've done. So any pressing movement, guys, you can apply this technique to. If you're pressing overhead or yes. you're doing incline or flat, yes. elbows always tucked. Elbows tucked. Any press, always. Man, I mean, that's a game changer, y'all. This is a, truly a game changer, for real. Oh, yeah. All right. Happy to hear that. Thank the you. I'm going to put that in my bag. My Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I like this rubber on here, too. Hell, yeah. Sponsored, by the way. Well, I guess it's not really sponsored, oh, but it's his this brand. Can't believe you're putting on the PR wraps. Yeah, this is, the day. Day. <laughs> this is it. Oh, my brother. These... Listen, I don't need anything else. This is mine forever. Oh, beautiful. Whatever you need, man. Happy support. Oh, look at that. You might have to make a minor adjustment with that too. Yo, yo please talk to me. Okay, so when yeah, I tell me how to put them around on right. Okay, so you can follow my lead. Uh -huh. Basically, a uh, common mistake I see is wrapping straight across mm -hmm. beneath the hand. Mm -hmm. You want to wrap up the hand as so, and that will offer you more support. Uh, up the hand. Yeah, exactly. Like this. Yeah, and around the thumb as well. And then around the thumb. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot around of even a little higher. Town. Oh, God. Around yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, sir. All Just the way like up here. that. And pull that, yeah, crank it, and that'll give you more support. Whoa, from, yeah. yes, yes. Look, guys, you learn something by listening. <laughs> you yes, learn sir. something, yeah. Because you want to stop it from. Hell yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what? This, I, this is funny yeah, because you, um, in football, up here, you can, that's one thing we used to do. Look weird. Is, you know, but we you wrap know all our, our wrists all the way up high. Mm -hmm. And yes. and train you and. Your, and when weightlifting, I went down, you know what I mean? But from, this like, feels a lot more like the football huh. side because we, we know a lot of uh, That's right, yeah. <laughs> that was the thing. That's we why were, you got to do bench press, right? Uh, right. That's what turned it to the field. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. yeah, just like, that's perfect. So then in football, you got to do this bandages. Yeah, we would, yeah, we would do a, we start with the pre-tape and then you just band in, you just bandage up with white tape and it just really. Oh, just tape. And, oh, yeah, it's just tape, but you keep, you keep it thick. And reinforce you, and that's all you know. All a little tweaking, because man, last thing they'll risk. You can we can break a wrist real easy. Oh, I can see, I can see, especially if you're pushing and you push a little wrong, oh, or they're coming at you. So oh man, things. so yeah, many things. I can't even begin to imagine. <laughs> <I know. laughs> that's right. why NFL means not for long. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all right, not for long. Hey. And I don't, don't don't come for me now. I'm just watching the vid. There we go. <laughs> don't come for me. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. He's making that look really easy. Okay. There you go. All right. Hey, I don't know what he looks like when a he's bench press. Larry Wheels bench team. press is a thing of beauty. <laughs> For real. Oh, man. It's like watching Usain <sighs> Bolt on a sprint. <laughs> Gas me up, man. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. You see him going at 100, yo. That's now that's beauty, ain't gonna yes. Okay, on your count. One. Okay. Two. Three. Yep. Oh. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Give me five clean reps. Two more. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Power. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it is there it is. Oh yeah. We gotta go 315. Oh, 100%. Oh, it feels, oh. It feels. It's been a long time. Okay, okay. We well, you're ready. Yeah. Absolutely ready. Well, I just would love to get a couple like that, man. I think of thank oh, you. Wow. That you, you really, really are helping my technique. It this is beautiful, six. guys. That it's is beautiful. crazy. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. And that, that really helps crazy, too. Bro. The, oh, when you wrap He's a little higher? Yeah, just the higher up on the wrist. Okay, easy. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Again, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, this is awesome. It's a good warm up, too. Yeah, I love uh, starting all my workouts with a heavy compound movement. So for leg day, that'd be squats. For deadlifts, that, I mean, for back day, it'd be deadlifts. For bench day, it'd be chest day, it'd be bench. Okay. I'm so used to talking to powerlifters, like yeah, yeah, yeah. squat, bench, deadlift day. Uh, no. right? So many years of like, that's the priority. But even still, now that 
I'm after longevity and most of my training is more bodybuilding oriented. Yeah. I still like to start with those heavy compounds to keep my strength. Exactly. And then move on to the isolated movements with a quicker pace yep. after. So like we'll do another four exercises with a quick pace, just back to back. Yep. When you're done, I'll go, right? It's good cardio and it helps you get a great pump. Because this, you won't get a pump, right? Right, right, right. right. Too long rest period and we're not doing enough reps. And on my heavy compound portion of the workouts, it's about explosivity and strength. Yeah. So the contraction that like the mind muscle connection is minimal compared to doing yes. uh, bodybuilding tempo with the machines that I say the movements because uh -huh. on this I'm worrying about just being strong and explosive not trying to get that great contraction and squeeze at the top. Right, right. I right. agree. I'm more no. about worried about keeping my strength up strength. and being explosive. But the rest of the workout, it's all about that mind-muscle connection. I slow the reps down when you're eccentric. I agree. Slow everything way down. You just work on not how much weight's on the machine, how much weight I'm lifting, but how good the contraction is. What I love contraction. is that you, really do want that contraction you create a purpose for all your exercises. Especially when you're you know what heavy, I mean? You know like you, you, when you're talking about the, Certain exercises now, mind, you know, the mind muscle, muscle connection, you know, you really the whole deal. That, you really because feel that weight a lot of people, on your, on your one chest. thing I learned is, is, is I used to live by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to do everything purposeful, mm. on purpose. Live on purpose instead of living on accident. You know what I mean? Every little movement, uh, it's got a purpose to it. Like, one thing I know, like you mentioned, even I have a plyometric day where I do a lot of power cleaning and this kind of thing, but it's purposeful injitis part cardio. It makes me, I love the, the rush of these kind of explosive movements, but it's not heavy weight. Right. It's, you know what I mean? It's very, it's yeah. very light. It's not, you know, it's very handleable. But this stuff, like you said, the pause at the end, it helps me get my mind together. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's a way, di way different way of thinking about it. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Here That's a go. safe way to approach it as well. Okay. You know, so. Safety, you know. And, and for my hand you off, you gotta I'm be do a safe in the gym. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sorry? Uh, you don't want to get hand hurt. Off, I, do, I do a head nod when I'm ready. A head nod. I like to hold yes, my sir. breath. Yes, and brace. Sir. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Good to go. Here we go. Yo, what? Amazing. Gotcha. Can we those? Was that oh. 10? I, I wasn't in count. I was oh. just like, how smooth it looked. You okay. Know like, Perfect. So, it looked wow. light. I got one more Talk to me. tip. If I haven't watched closely to see if you're doing it or not, I've been yeah. watching your elbows. Yeah. You probably already do this, but just in case you're not, for any of my heavy compound movements such as See, you got to do a cardio angle now. You see how you got to I always rest? draw air into my diaphragm by pushing my stomach outwards and bracing and holding throughout the entirety of the lift. Oh. Your audio <clears throat> and that creates a lot of intradominal pressure and allows you to be more explosive mm -hmm. and protects your trunk, mm -hmm. which is your strong pressure. support system. I've, so, I, and I've done that a lot during my squat. Okay. Where you, you mm -hmm. brace your, mm -hmm. your core mm -hmm. and keep it braced the whole time. But mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. done this mm -hmm. in my bench press. So that can al allow you to be a little more explosive out of the pa out of the dead stop. Okay. Out of the pause by bracing and holding it throughout the entire set. You got it. And you, feel, and you brace it out and brace right in the middle here, just like this. Let the air. Because what, what I've learned is uh, I had a way I've been doing it was just this big and Bro, then a, I remember a nice push out. In high school, my my uh, my track coach told me I was breathing wrong, and I was like, "What?" Because after after I would I would do like I was in like like four hundreds kind of group, you know what I'm saying, like middle distance, it's like 400, 200, kind of like that, like that, you know what I'm saying. So one of the one of those days we're doing ladders and we're just running a, uh, it's like four, it's like I don't know, like like a one hundred, two two hundreds, three. 300, you know, something like this ladder, you know what I'm saying? It, it builds up, then you go back down, right? Yeah, and I'm just, <laughs> he's like, you're breathing wrong. And I'm like, yeah, I, like, like, what do you mean I'm breathing wrong? Everybody, I, I know how to breathe. I've been, I've been doing it since birth, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know, I, I think he's, just, he, he's like, and then, he, and then he told me, like, how to do it and what, how to, how to, how to breathe or whatever else. And it actually, it actually helped, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it was one of those things where you like, you do it every day, you know what I'm saying? 
So you you would think you would know how to do it, bro. But a lot of people actually don't know how to breathe. You know what I'm saying, bro? You, it, it's like it becomes because you you're doing it subconsciously. Like you're not thinking about breathing. You know what I'm saying? When you think about breathing, you probably you probably like. But you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things. I don't know why I t told that story. I'm not gonna lie. But I think they were saying something about that's. But yeah, like oh okay, I know right now because um, Terry was like you learned like he. He feels better with his elbows tucked in, like, and that that's something like he's been he's been working out for fucking years. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, so you can always, you know what I'm saying? You can always improve on whatever it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Even breathing, that's the fault. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Locked in. What can lead people to passing out mm -hmm. when they breathe and their chest rises, right? So, I've learned as a power lifter to create that intra-abdominal pressure by breathing to my diaphragm, which means breathing into your stomach without having your chest rise. So. Mm. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. It's like, like you're literally consciously pulling the air into your stomach while pushing your belly out. Yes, yeah. Right? Like, I see, I see, I see. Okay, can we try this? Of course, yeah. I'm gonna try this very gently. And then you can hold it throughout the whole set. Yep, yes sir. You won't pass out, you'll be good. Yes sir. 315 though. If he eats these, I'm gonna be impressed. I mean, I'm already impressed. All right. You see, you're gonna go get in that stomach, embrace, and then you'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. One, come on. Yeah. Now wait. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yo. Race. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I felt so different. Oh, I was holding it the whole time. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, I loved it. I loved that. Oh, hell yeah. Man, I haven't done that in years. Wow. But in years, and you did I mean, it yeah. first day back. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I haven't done this in years. First uh, day, bro, imagine imagine will. If he's I'm rocking this out. Look at those like goosebumps. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Look at that. The goosebumps. I'm so happy. Like two months. I'm like he chicken skin right now. Right. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. so I'm going to do this. I'm so happy. Hell yeah, man. Guys, awesome. listen to this, man. He knows what he's talking about. <sighs> when it comes to squat bench Yo, and deadlift, I have not done it. And, 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 and remind you, I just have, I have a oh. torn bursa. You guys see the water pulled up in the bottom yeah. here? Yeah. I can feel it. There's a torn bursa on my elbow. Look at that. The difference is just this, this one's here, and that one's sitting out all the way out there. Wow. But I, but again, Wait. when I was doing- Didn't the rock do the same kind of thing? I felt like The Rock had the same, the same injury. So the other day, I was like, I was feeling this in my shoulder, feeling it in my elbow. I didn't feel I'm, it at I'm all. I'm getting older now, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't feel that, that at I'm all. Trying to look out it was safer, amazing. You know my life has changed. <laughs> thank you, brother. I have to thank, thank I'm you. I'm so pushing oh, you for being uh, a good sport, man. I'm so happy. Hell yeah. But I'm also oh, trying to be more, more careful. Okay. Well, you know are you down? Like, we got the one bate, you know? One more set here. Once the bate goes bye bye, it's GG. You do have, you said bursitis here in the elbow? Yeah, just a little bit. It's okay. So I have some elbow wraps that I live and die by when I do heavy bench press. Please, please. So I want to wrap you and see if you feel a difference there. Okay. And we can do the same weight and just try and get into the three rep spot. Let's do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would probably make a big difference. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's not cheating because it's, uh, well, I mean, basically you're just benching pain free. Yeah. And when you don't have any pain, you got no mental barriers, so you can go 100%. Yep, yep. You know? So, there you go, brother. Uh, thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna mummify myself. You have to show now. me how to put the, the mummify of course. Once you, yeah, I'm gonna look at your technique. All right, so I like to do it seated so I can wedge the wrap in between my arm and leg mm -hmm. and hold the tension with each revolution. So I start, by, revolution. I start by pulling the slack out, like so. With each wrap? And I start at the Why base of the elbow, revolution? right? And then I wrap upwards, up the arm, as much I mean, as I can without creating skin folds. Yes. Right? And boom. Then I can hold the tension here by wedging it between my that's arm it, and my leg. That's it, yes sir. And it's much easier seated than standing. Yep. Right? Yep. And then I pull again. I'm gonna have a good leverage. Again, wrapping up the arm. Yep. And boom. Oh. Yes, sir. There and that's a spring. Wow. It's a spring. Wow, okay. Yes, sir. All right. Same thing for here. It's really important I guys, not to wrap straight across because then you wrap beneath, you won't cover the entire of the elbow yep. and you won't get any real support. Yep. <clears throat> so same thing here. You gotta take it up. Yes, sir. Okay. Wedge it here. 
Get leverage. All right. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. It's going to be a good set. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Ready to rock and roll. All right. <sighs> yep. This looks amazing, man. Yeah, Hell buddy. Oh, yeah. Light would be big. <sighs> Woo. Now, Light would be big. Mollified. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, one, I got to get a plate on there. Got too excited. You got it. <laughs> you got I got it, too got excited. You. I got you. Anthony, you know, would you mind filming with the iPhone? You can edit a vertical? You can use your phone. You can edit, you can edit a clip. Okay. Ah, thank you. Would you mind? Yes, I Here would mind. <clears throat> Just so you know, it's my turn. Take that plate off. <clears throat> the fuck? There we go. Woo. That's insane. Got it. There it is. There it is. Whoa! Whoa! That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, Larry. Whoa. Yes. Got it. Woo! Oh. 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 Yes. All right. Oh, good. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me watch from the other side. Yep. Okay. And I'll, I'll use my slide. fingers to guide you. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Okay. Hold on, that's not. It's me, it's me. Nah, you good. Okay. Again. Perfect, just like that. Yes. There it is. Yeah, that's, that, that's perfect. Now pull real, yep. Yeah. Even tighter, there we go. That's it. Yeah? Wow, yeah, it's, it's tucked in. Okay. That's tucked in. I can wrap this arm, and you tell me if it feels like the same with the other arm. You got it. Okay? So Go get ahead. your arm to, arm to the loop, just like that. Okay. Okay. Make it right there. Thank you. No doubt. Is that too yeah, low? It's, it's a little low. low. It's a little low. low. Yeah, it okay. this one's higher. Sorry. Oh, no, good. Oh, good. You got big elbows. Okay, I'll get it up here. What does that there mean? <clears throat> okay. So How about got, up here? You got big elbows. Good. 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 That feels great. Okay. Should I close your eyes, Oh, that bro. feels good. Okay. Boom, yes, yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, I thought you was doing that. Okay. It went back down the way. I'm about to say <laughs> Free, yeah. pain free. A little tricky with different elbows. Much higher. <sighs> Let's see it. One, two, three. Yep, there it is. Perfect, wow, yes. Looking better, yep, perfect. Perfect, okay, two more, 100%. Yes, last one, I'm with you, yep. Yep, yes. You could be another one. Yeah. These are five, bro. Yes. After not working out for how long you said? Sorry. Years? I'm so happy. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Damn. Five at 315. I haven't done that in a while. Hell yeah. Hey, wait, that's the second set. I was going to say, how's that happen? Oh, amazing. <laughs> really good. Woo. Probably warmed up now. These wraps are beautiful. Oh, love that. Love to hear that. Hell Woo. yeah. All right. Oh, my God. Good stuff. That's man. lovely. Absolutely. That's lovely, guys. Woo. Oh, my God. I love training. <laughs> oh man. You just got goosebumps after every set. I know, just getting a little bit better every day. It feels so good. <laughs> what I learned today, man, that's, this is really, I'm so glad I did this, man. I'm so glad I came. Oh, thank you for inviting me over Thank you for coming, here, man. man. Thank you for coming. Wow. Seriously. Oh. That's the thing, man. Is yeah. that first time meeting? Work out in a vacuum well, sometimes. Have they, have they met, met before? It's not, you got, like I said, you got to always adjust. Yeah, that's right. Always. That's so beautiful. Thank you, sir. Oh. Absolutely. Ooh. Just a small adjustment. Okay. Major change. This is called the dual Smith machine 
from rear leader and it's unilateral. You can go one arm at a time. Uh, it's plate loaded, as you see. You, it has so many adjustments here from the base. You can uh, do flat and incline. So I'm gonna demonstrate one set. And I like to go a little lighter here because re-racking it can be a little funky. Uh -huh. So I like to play it safe and just go much lighter here than I would on uh, bench press with a barbell. All right. a so you just roll forward to unrack. Get so deep here, crazy stretch. Oh. Look at that stretch right there, that's insane. And then it converges here at the top for a really good control. I've never seen that in a gym before. What the fuck? Same here, try to keep the elbows tucked. Uh -huh. And tucking the elbows help you squeeze the pecs a little better as well. The elbows tucked to protect your pecs here. It's a really deep stretch. Yeah. All right, yes, and then converge at the top. That nice. stretch is crazy. That pump got me insane. And it's nice that it's unilateral, you know. All right. What's that machine called? All right. You got long arms. So I think you'd be good here. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 56? How old is Larry Wheels? He releases this way. Uh, yes, sir. How old yeah, is Larry Wheels? Exactly. Just like that. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yes, there we go. Oh, that's so stressed, Cal. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect. Love that. Yep. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes. Hell yeah, man. I feel it in my back. In your back? Well, just, I guess I'm just sore from something else. But it's you know, it's nice. really stretch. When, when you hit that stretch, it's like, Whoa. Oh, you feel your scapula get retracted? Well, yeah, uh, it's retracted. Like right into, I feel it in my, in my lower traps. It's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, this is my favorite one for, for chest. That's a machine. Almost 30. Let's go a quarter. It gets heavy fast here. All right. So we added a 25. It's gonna do a set of 10 here. Oh, you wrote it. Okay. My stretch. Yeah, I'm going to the gym. I'm doing chest work. That's what I decided. Whew. I can't count. I'm not sure if that was 10 or not, but it feels like it. <laughs> stretch. It's needed, man. I mean, uh, big time. One thing I know is I, I haven't spent enough time stretching. Mm. And it's good to be able to kind of get it with the lift. That's right. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, absolutely. That makes a big difference. Most definitely. All right. <clears throat> yes. Yep. Get it. You can like yep. see that. Like, like, come on. You can literally feel you can be, I can yes. I don't feel it, but like you can see this deep stretch right there. Yes. Power. Perfect. Yeah, that's so crazy. Hell you can still yeah. see his striations, even though he's freaking 56. Yes, it's crazy, bro. What the his body pause, you know what I'm saying? He's in great shape, you know what I'm saying? There it is. Uh, a little lower. Ah, uh, that's good. There we go. You got long arms, man. Ooh, Sheesh. I know, I know. You must have a good deadlift. Long arms and long legs. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, me and Shaq got the same size hands. You're kidding. What? It's like, I can't believe. Hey. What the hell? Oh. I'm, I'm, a freak. I'm a freak. Holy. Of you know what, what in mean? the world? The same size Weird, hands as Shaq? What's up, guys? This video is sponsored by Versagrips. Versagrips represent a massive upgrade from traditional straps. Made from a proprietary non-slip material that help you get the most from your training. Wait, Eliminating not... grip strength as a weakness. Pause. Wait, do you not have? I thought he had. I thought he had his own brand. I'm so confused now. <sighs> He's not using his own his own brand the whole time. Oh, 
Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can, bro. The the pec right. pump, the chest pump oh, after shit. this burger would be freaking insane, bro. Hey, who that? Who oh. that? Who that? Ah, yep. gee, why that? Do that? Do that? Whoa, who, who that? Who that? Shorty in the background. Let's see it. That's for Fred. Yep. Yes. But his elbow Perfect. Is Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This man has the craziest bicep split in his right arm. Looks unreal right there. Yeah, literally. Jeez. Yeah, god damn. Oh. Yes, sir. Both biceps you know, are crazy, kid, bro. The peak when he flexes. All I wanted was bicep. I had an uncle. He worked at the airport in Tampa. We used to go visit him. He had the biggest arms I've ever seen in my life. Huh. Cause he would clean the planes, move stuff. But he was huge. We called him Uncle Buddy. And we used to hang on his arms. <laughs> and all I wanted was big arms. So I was a kid. I was just flexing my arms in the mirror till they cramped. <laughs> you know, wow. Like, okay. Oh, my wife, my mother would be like, "What the hell's going on?" Like, ah, nothing. <laughs> but over the years, it just kept going. Yeah, you know. That's. And it's just his mind, you know, the mind muscle connection happening even as a kid. <laughs> That's right, you know, absolutely. It's all the time. Uh, <laughs> littlest videos of me, I'm going. You know, it's crazy. It's wonderful. And when did you start doing the, um, when you start dancing? Because that was. You got some moves, man. Well, this is the thing, my mother was real religious. So she wouldn't allow us to dance and everything, but I used to dance in my room. That's where all the pick pop stuff came from, right? <laughs> I like it just casually just like exploded out of the shirt. Breaking really happened. Like it changed my life. Like again, I'm a child of the 80s. Mm -hmm. I was born in 68. Wow. Right in the 80s, I was 12, you know, 12, 13 years old. And people were walking around with cardboard and the whole thing. And me and my best friend, we were just spinning and, and you know, like windmills and the whole thing and popping and locking. And it was so amazing. And my mother didn't like it, but we used hmm. to sneak out and do it. Okay. Uh, go to huh. dances and do all that stuff, but, huh. and it stayed with me, man. And this is the thing I want to say. This which is crazy. Hmm. I asked my mother, "Can I do the talent show?" I think it was a she Saturday Night Live. Nope, like, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> That's it. And Skip. I was frustrated because she was so religious. With him and Kevin Hart. Said, Can I host? Oh, was, it, was it Kevin Hart? Hmm. I don't know who, who it was. It was him, and he was just like, "Be sure y'all work out." He's like, "He was like, so you start like this, and then he, and oh, I got I got to find the clip, bro. I got to find the clip. Oh. I got to find the clip." Okay. He started going. <laughs> I, I hosted <laughs> my high school talent show. You know what I'm saying? With the weight? Biggest talent show in the world. Wow. Whoa. That is unbelievable. That was your calling. We'll look up Terry Crews wow. clips after this video. Man. It was my destiny. Isn't that wild? That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Like, it, it, you, if you put it in a movie, people are like, man, come on, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, I would think that's just something someone put on paper and that never actually happened. Fiction. This is one thing you gotta realize. Perfect storms are oh, rare, but they always happen. <laughs> Wow. That's the thing people always have to realize. Because you're like, oh, that's a perfect storm. That's, that's just this, hits, this, hits, this, this. You hit a ball and all of a sudden it falls in the cup. Like, what? It always happens. Mm. You just have to do it enough. You have to be enough. You have to be ready when it does. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. So people are like, that wouldn't happen. Guess what? Or your success, I'm trying to tell you, it can be a perfect storm. You just keep going. You know what I mean? I, I like I, that. That's a little preaching for the day. I'm not trying. I'm, just, that's, I'm trying to sneak in rest with Larry. <laughs> Give us more, man. Give us more. <laughs> you too, man. When they're pumped, those things are 3D. <sighs> nah, Larry, you're, you got some paws. You got when they're pumped, man. Oh. Shoulders. What the fudge? Sheesh. See it. <sighs> yes. Yep. Yep. Tuck those elbows a bit. Yep. Perfect. Yep. It got a little hot. Oh. I can feel a little warm there. Oh, let's call it that. It's, okay. it's all good. You got three good sets in. You're good. That's it. That's it. Time to move on. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, man. The thing is, is that, you know, when we woke up at 20 years, 
it was because I had went to a massage parlor and was unfaithful and cheated on her. But it was because of this, like, why would I do that? And it was because of the constant pornography use and the whole thing, and I was kind of, you know, it was like, oh, it'll be all right, all right. but you, what you're doing is putting a bad habit and securing it in that, and listen, I'm results confused. always come from habits. Good ones mean good results. Right. Bad ones are going to add up. And the thing is, is we were getting farther and farther apart. I, mean, I, was, getting, I was still rich, I was still famous, and the whole thing, and I got arrogant. And she was like, what is it I don't know about you? Mm. And I got tired of, I got tired of lying. Because you start, because the question I used to ask was, why don't you believe me? But the question I should have been asking is, why am I lying? <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, right. it's two different ways to look at that whole thing. You know what I mean? And I just said, oh my God. And I said, and I told her. But what does that do with the gym? And then I realized, wait a minute, man. Mm. And then, and I, here I am saying I want to be, I'm a, I want to be a faithful dad, I want to be a husband, I want to be but Type shit. I, I wasn't being that. Type shit. And all of a sudden, I realized it was me. It was me. Because I would blame everything. I would blame her and blame this. She ain't giving me enough sex. She ain't doing this. that. But gave me five kids, by the way. <laughs> but still, you right, know. 35 years, well, 35 years a day. Always still yeah. complaining, right? But I realized, no, it's me. These were my choices. Mm. These are what I, just, I chose to do. Not nobody. You are not a victim of the circumstances. The wind didn't come. The rain didn't take me away. You know what I mean? Like you can do that right. blaming. Without a doubt. And I said, yeah. wait a minute. These but the choices. Gym. And I went to rehab. Went to rehab. Found out a lot about myself. Really, really worked on me, man. And I'm gonna tell everybody out there, man. The best thing you can do for the whole world is to make the most of yourself. Anytime you try to change society, try to change systems, try to change the weather, it's noble. The weather. Feels good to do. But the best thing you could ever do, because if you become a better person, everything around you becomes better. I agree. And if we concentrate on just us, being better people, being a better person, being more loving, being more, more true, all of a sudden, that is contagious. You know what I mean? And your world gets better. But when you concentrate on everything else, you never want to It's hard. You know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt. Well, we got to change the voting laws. And you're like, yeah, but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and that's what hit me, man. And it changed my life forever, dude. And, I, and my wife, because she saw I was willing to work it out. Give me a little speech. Go to rehab. She came back. And we didn't together ever since, man, and been very, very vocal about this stuff. That's beautiful. You know, we go and talk to couples and married couples, go to churches and events and businesses. And I really just tell my story because it's really one of the things where people start to feel like, oh, wait, you know, he's just like me. Because everybody thinks celebrity and all that stuff. They think, Oh man, you just got that, right? You know, but they don't see the hours and hours and years and years of, of what you've been doing. And uh, I love you, man. I just oh no doubt, I no. Let's share that because that's uh, beautiful, man. That's love, very inspiring. I want to be that person. That's part of my oh, purpose. You are, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's a hard battle to conquer. And in rehab, what's one thing you could take away that could benefit everybody listening right now? Wow. Okay, one thing I learned in rehab is to Look at you. This is the biggest thing that changed my life for me. Is that you never, ever, ever talk bad about yourself. Your self-talk is everything. If you, because what happens is you got a default button that says, man, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not that. And what happens is you start to internalize all those things. Your self-talk is the most important thing you ever ever have you have to it's almost like we're gonna live in order for you to forgive people you have to forgive yourself first mm. and so talk to yourself as if you were a six-year-old kid because you are forever like you look at a picture i had a picture of myself when i was literally like five or six and i would look at it and i would talk to myself mm. as if i was that five six-year-old kid he makes a mistake 
You don't ever get down on them. Think about it. That little kid runs around, trips and falls. You say, hey man, get up, it's okay. He spills a drink. Oh, it's all right. But as an adult, you're like, man, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm nah, nah, nah. Sorry, shit. But you would never say that to that little sis. Like, hey, stupid. You <laughs> would never say those things. But you say those things to yourself as an adult. Right. Man, dumbass. Nah, nah, nah. And I said, I'm going to talk to myself I'm, like I'm always that little kid. You made a mistake. It's okay. Try it again. Dude, it makes me get choked up right now because it's one of the things where you treat yourself like, oh my God, I've been talking to myself the wrong way. You know, you would never talk to that six-year-old that way. And so this is why it's like, try it again. You can do it. You know what I mean? Look at this. And then you're proud of him when he does it. You know what I mean? What happens is it's, it starts to become what I call a tornado <laughs> of well-being. Like it starts to spin and <gasps> it keeps eyeballing the camera. It keeps uh, like, breaking man, the fifth wall, good, bro. But it started way, way back then when I started to change how I talk to myself. You know what I mean? And I'm so thankful, man, because that in rehab, you can you feel like you you feel bad about all the bad things you've done, and you stay down, and you feel and you just beat yourself. But that's not what this is. This thing is you're a kid. You're still a kid. Mm. Absolutely. Don't think you didn't grow up. Yeah, adults are just You're bigger kids. Uh, that six-year-old is still in you. Pause. And this, this is why they Wait, say, huh? Huh? you know, Wait, it's cool? best to be huh? not childish, but it's always good to be childlike. Mm. And because mm. you're always willing to learn, you're always willing to open up, you always want, and you forgive yourself, and do. all of a sudden, it's in the blue rear view mirror, man. Those things are bad. The bad is gone. All of a sudden, you just start doing, it's a new day. Let's do new good things. And I love that about you is that, you know, 56 years old, you've been working out for over 40 yeah, years, right? 56. And you walked in here for the collaboration with me. And you're like, and what are you doing you're the teacher. For five, bro, what? No ego. No, I'm older. I know better. I know everything already. So I respect that about you, you know, and that's and, how. And I learned. You live what you preach. But that's why I was able to learn today. You, just, you taught me something that changed my life forever. Just the, just the movement changed my life. And I'm going, dude, you, you, you don't get anyone thinking you know it all. You just don't. And that's that adult mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. No, you don't. No, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I always want to treat everything as if I'm doing it for the first time. Ah, thank love you, that, brother. man. Real role model you are, honestly. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. Woo! That looks amazing. Uh, yes, sir. Damn. That is a superhero right here, man. Wow. Oof. Lighting super is doing me justice. Yeah. Shot. I like to pick my chest up yes. to avoid uh, internally rotating and putting too much stress on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And it helps me get a better contraction. When uh, it's, you know, sir. this is a easy machine to get a little overzealous and go too heavy on, so. Think the weight is good? What do you think? Yeah, because you were handling the weight over there, no problem. So I think this is good for you. Yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's good. Hell yeah. Perfect. Hell yeah. See, Terry's got textbook technique. Yeah, Chest still, stays tall. I still can't believe how yep, big elbows he Elbows are bro. tucked. Absolutely. Got a nice squeeze at the top. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. This is my favorite machine here for developing yeah. that upper ch upper shelf. That's sh oh, oh yeah, I knew he was gonna say it. Oh, I love it. It's popping. This shelf. That. My favorite right here. Oh man. That makes a big difference. Absolutely. <clears throat> wow. Nice stretch here at the end. Amazing. That's so dramatic. Oh. Yep. I need to go to the gym. I want to and I need to. Alright. You got some forearms too, man. Wow. That'd be uh 
Oh, the arm wrestling I did during the pandemic. Oh, yeah, arm wrestling. I never lost it. I don't do it no more. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's where that came from, because I saw some videos of you doing that, too. You know, I did a whole two, three-year stint where I was doing mostly arm wrestling videos. Nice. During the pandemic, everyone's at home. Now I work or school. Oh, he broke this guy's content. Great time to be a content creator. Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> I was flying out the best arm wrestlers from Europe, UK, Asia, from all over that region of the world to Dubai, where he I was living. Broke somebody's arm from like, 2019 arm, to like, 2023. Like that. And there was just hit video after hit video from arm wrestling. To this day, arm wrestling videos are my most engaged videos. Yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, I remember that. But now. After doing it for a few years, I've become very squeamish. I've seen like half a dozen arm breaks mm. and it's just tra kind of traumatizing. Like, I just hate seeing it now because like, oh, yeah. they might break their arm. I've just seen it too many times and where it's actually scared me away from the sport, yeah. where I'm afraid to break my own arm now. Because yeah. yeah. as you get more well, yeah, you're trying to put competitive, to another... right, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. it's it, to try to go to that world-class level and what you have to sacrifice and what you're risking and the reward is great, like it's really addicting, right? I, I had a ton of fun doing it, but the arm breaks kind of spoiled it for me. I saw a clip of the arm breaks. I don't even breaks. feel bad about that because it's really, like, after playing in the NFL, you realize injury is not if, it's when. Yeah. There are certain things like that, football, it's when. Right. It's not, like, well, I can get away with it. It's just a matter of when this injury is going to happen. Right. The longer you do it. This is why you, it, that's why one thing I love is a lot of football players are retiring earlier. You know, mm -hmm. which back in the day, man, they used to go until they almost, they die. I mean, literally your body, you can't walk, you can't do anything. And that's not the purpose of athletics. Right. That's not the purpose of fitness. <laughs> right. The pur its purpose is that so you can live. And if you can't live, what's, what's the use? You know what I mean? So I hear you, man. That's yeah. really good. Cool. No doubt. No doubt. And, like, and again, young, you got the sport, that's the time. Right. You know what I mean? It's the time. But then there's a time to say, okay, time to move on. Right. Absolutely. All about longevity now. All right. Here it is. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Hell yeah. Textbook. Textbook Terry. Yes, sir. Textbook Terry. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> perfect. Hell yeah. That's perfect. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Absolutely. All right. Everybody want you big, but oh, nobody want to lift over heavy weight. I love that. I love that. Uh, you know, the. <laughs> The saying, no pain, no gain. I never yeah. understood it because yeah. when there's pain, there is no gain. Yeah, no, like, where, no. who made that phrase? Oh. Pain is weakness in the body. Yeah, that's, that's where these things and these habits that you learn, you pick up a lot of bad ones. Yeah. You know, I was in the old days. I thought where, it was really easy to pick up bad, bad you habits. You know, everybody thought this was a black exploitation movie. You know what I mean? And they was coming through like Superfly. And you're like, yo, what the hell happened? This, that's the movie. Right. It's a little bit like hip hop, to be mm. honest. Mm. Hey, man, all that, you, there's never been more time and proof that that lifestyle has been crazier than ever than now because you see the results. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Right. And I'm looking at all these stars going down, mm -hmm. all these people who I'm going to really leave nameless, <coughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Did right. <coughs> and it's like, wow. Oh, and there, when I was young, it was like, he won. He won. She won. They got it. And it's not what you think. The results after a time. The grass isn't is always green on the side, bro. It all adds up. Mm. And if you do not put those good habits inside and, and, and replace bad ones with good ones, then the results are going to end up really bad. No it's just a matter of not if, but when. Exactly. Exactly. And that happens success, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Success is not if you do everything right. Success is not if, it's when. You know That's what I mean? Absolutely. It's just a matter of when you're going to get it now. When you're going to find that success. So what do you have to say to those that look at you or even me and go, well, he's just lucky? Oh, man. First of all, I, I, now, I am, 
Never ever a believer in luck. I, I never even say this. I will never ever say I have no choice. Because everything is a choice. If you put a gun to my head and tell me I gotta do this or die, that's still a choice. That's right. my choice. Right. If I either I do it or not. Victor Frankel had a brilliant saying. He, this is the man who was in the concentration camp during the Holocaust, lost his whole family, lost everybody. And he was like, you cannot, still cannot take away my ability to choose my, my attitude in this given situation. And he survived, he survived. And it's wild because when I look at this thing and I realize that we are the accumulation of every choice we make. You choose, you choose. I don't say I gotta, I say I choose to. I choose, I, ch I made the choice to come here today. Not I gotta come. That's a whole different frame of mind. Absolutely. And, that, and look, luck got nothing to do with it. <laughs> luck has nothing to do with it. I chose this. You lay out your clothes the night before. You chose this. You know what I mean? You, you gas up, you get in the car, you go to work out, you make it happen. You chose all of it. But this is another thing. You deserve that success. See, this is a, you have to also learn how to accept success. Some people are scared to succeed, because you know why? Because if you succeed, that means people are going to expect it. But don't. Accept it. Deserve it. You deserve it. These are your choices. Some people only take the bad. They go, yeah, I did that and I messed up. But you got to take the good. You know what I mean? You got to say, I did that. Mm -hmm. No. If, 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 you, you can say, I did that if there's something wrong, but then go, well, you know, that's God, that's everybody. When I... No, you did that when it's right. And I learned to take my success as deeply as I take a failure. You know what I mean? And then, and it, but it keeps growing, keeps going. So, ain't no luck to me. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. I love the way you put that. I love the way you put that. <clears throat> Did you get the weight? Larry Wheels. All right. Bam. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. I, I want to look out with Larry Wills, ain't gonna lie. Enter Wills yeah. in the rock. 315 for five. Yeah. Uh, way to start the day. Oh, this is wonderful. Ooh. That's it, Larry. Uh. <sighs> 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 I'm turn that oh. burn you get. You are Doing this exercise is actually oh. different, ain't gonna lie. Takes one to know one, man. Takes one to know one. <laughs> right uh, right yes, here on your chest, you can just feel it. Here we go. Just broke my chair. Hip. If you're still watching this point, bro, the W-Mans ain't gonna lie. If you're still watching the vid, bro, W-Mans. Come on. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Beautiful. Hell yeah, that chest is screaming right now. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, buddy. All right. Good stuff. Tell me, man. Yes, sir. Where'd you get wheels? <laughs> what is the wheels about, man? I was like, I love the name. <laughs> so my real last name is Williams. Yes, sir. Right, and when I was a teenager, I had a workout partner and he just started calling me wheels. I'm like, <laughs> why? Like, I don't have legs. I don't got big legs, you know? And I'm like, for someone with skinny legs, we're to call them wheels. Like, for someone with giant tree trunks, like, oh, that guy's got some wheels, but that was never me. So I'm like, where'd you get this nickname from, bro? He's like, well, you know, you're lifting a lot of weight and the plates are wheels. Yeah. And he's like, so wheels. <laughs> Oh uh, my God, I love it. I love and it, it just stuck. I, and just, I, I'm like, I, I just learned a superhero origin story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The Lord. Got bit by a spider. The <laughs> Lord. Larry Wheels got the nickname from a friend because of the wheels of the place. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's right. That's yes, great, sir. Man. You know? It fits you though. It's, it just makes so it makes so much sense. I would thought I would have thought that was your real name. You know <laughs> many I mean? many do. Many still yeah, do. Yeah. Like who's Larry Williams? That can't be the same. Uh, you know? nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's great. You're a legend, man. Uh, thank you, thank you. As are you. As are you. Oh, you know. This is awesome. All right. Oh, yeah. bro. 
This is uh, I'll be avoiding this workout. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be avoiding this workout. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Oh, that looks good. Yes, sir. There it is. Hell yeah. I think that's a shot right big. there. Yeah, looking real thick here. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Hell yeah. I'm really working on that core thing. I'm practicing. Breathing, breathing to your out, diaphragm. Holding the core without, you know, taking those giant breaths. You know, that's when guys pass out, right? They breathe into, with their chest, not into the diaphragm. Oh my yeah. God. I, I'm fortunate to never pass, have passed out, but I've seen it. Oh my God. It can get ugly. I think you'll pass out. By the way, this squats, is my uh, business partner, Ryan Benson, oh. also co host of the pod. Oh, man. What's up, brother? How What's are up, you? Brother? What's, What's up, brother? Nice to meet you. What's oh, up, brother? Big dude, right? Here. Yeah. Big dude, bro. I've been trying for a couple of years. <laughs> First session, you're like, all right. Oh, my God. Come on, man. We in Miami and all that. We clicked the meeting. Two weeks out. Two weeks into us training, I'm smoking. You want to park around the corner? I'm not the west side of it. Yep. Yeah, buddy. There it is. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Let's get it. Hell yeah. All right. So you get a nice pump. We do a. Good, man. the pump is here. Absolutely. And so the pump doesn't leave too fast. Do a drop set on this last set. Let's do it. Do a tops am wrap here and then two more right after. All right, so we got 200 there. I'm about to say you didn't set the 200 here. All right. 200. Yep. Ooh. 200. Yes, sir. Whew. All right. Do a couple more real quick. Yes, sir. Thank you. What are you dropping it to? <laughs> yeah, no, they did. No, they did. A lot smaller. <sighs> Yo, his shoulders are massive. Last set. Oh. oh, let's do it. Last set of the day. Come on. Make a count. Here we go. Ah, man. Ah. There you go. Ah. 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 It didn't feel too bad, I think. You got it. This is no problem for you. Yeah. All right. Hit an arm wrap here and then oh, it's not two you. more right after. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Some weight in those things. Yep. Sheesh. Perfect. Yep. Beautiful. This? Yep. This guy's Perfect. strong too, bro. Yep. Oh, all right. Come on. How you go big or big? Right. How you gonna shake them? Right, I got you. Yeah, see right there. What you got? 150 on that one. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't want to spoil the fun. Yep. There it is. Perfect. Nothing like a drop set for a crazy pump. Come on. Get it. Yep. Perfect. 
Yeah. All right, last set. Uh, yeah, I right, go 100. Yeah. All right. It's about that time. Yes. Yes. Grind. Yes. There it is. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Perfect. Yo, I Hell can feel yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> it started out like, oh. <laughs> Yo. Yo. There's so much blood in them right now, I can't even make yeah. them bounce. Look at that. You, got, you can't already, I know. Yeah. This is Too much. Bleeding inside. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hey, that was great. Absolutely. Uh, Debbie Lower Guy go live. Fantastic. I'm coming back. Oh, hell yeah. Too far. That's a good thing. I hope you do, man. That's I hope you do. Man. I'm coming back. And we got to check out your home gym whenever you've got a chance. Yes, absolutely. I'll see what you put you together. Do. That'd be a uh, privilege, Please. man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I want you to go up and come through and grade it. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. And change some things around. <laughs> man, thank you so he much. He said, move God. this. Oh, thank you, brother. Add thank this. you. Look at that. I feel hell good, yeah. man. This, yeah. Is, this is what you do right before the shoot. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Bro, he's 56. <laughs> ain't going nowhere. Paul, I'm bro. Larry Wheels, and we are here to talk about this wonderful new, I mean. All right. The little video ain't going to lie. You going to do some promo stuff. Uh, um, you guys want to go watch the video? Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Again, bro, these these guys are uh, uh, bro, like like peak of their profession. You know what I'm saying, bro? Terry Crews, everybody knows Terry Crews. You know what I'm saying? Um, white chicks, everybody hates Chris. Um, Friday, like the dude, the dudes. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, dudes, hilarious, funny, uh, 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 a good actor, the good, a good human in general. You know what I'm saying? Larry Reels breaks records. You know what I'm saying? Record breaker. That's that's his name, bro. Larry break records reels. W L V, you feel me? 